Hey everyone, this is Shannon with Smoke in the Wild and on this week's episode, we're frying up this crappie, this shrimp, these onion rings using pork rinds, but not in the way that you think. If you're on a low to no carb meal, this week's episode is for you. Stay tuned because we're fixing to get wild. <laughs> there he is right there. All right, we're gonna jump right into it. As I said earlier, if you're on a low to no carb diet, lifestyle, whatever you wanna call it, I'm telling you what, you're gonna love this. Now, you know what's interesting? I know a lot of guys that catch fish, love to fish. They love to catch crappie, they love to eat crappie, walleye, you know, the list goes on and on and on. But they're also on that keto diet or low to no carb plan, so therefore they can't fry it like they used to until today. So. On some previous episodes, I have taken, that's right, pork rinds, and I've shown you how to use a baggie to pulverize them and that kind of thing, so I found an easier way. So I'm doing this so much now that I'm actually doing it kind of in bulk and having it in a container with a, with a closable lid just to have it on the standby. But I'm gonna show you real quick how to do it. It's easy. I happen to have this Ninja food processor slash blender, I guess. It's got like four or five blades in there. You're just gonna dump the pork rinds into your food processor, all right? It's not a big deal, doesn't take long. Throw this in the trash. We're gonna put the lid on. Watch how fast this pulverizes it. Turn the power on. Just a few seconds. So. Come on in here, I'm gonna show you exactly what it looks like, and then I'm gonna show you how we're gonna prepare the fish, the shrimp, and the onion rings, and we're doing it on the air fryer with the pork rinds. You won't believe how amazing this meal tastes. All right, I've already got it all blended up. I've set the blender aside. I'm gonna take the, the, uh, the blades out. You're just gonna dump it in there. They're gonna stick in there. My hands are very clean. I just washed them with good hot soapy water. Knock the, from the sides, boom, you're done. And it's the consistency of almost like panko breadcrumbs. That's exactly what the consistency is. And oh my goodness. And the good news is zero carbs in pork rinds. Okay? All right, let's move on to the next step. All right, so because these pork rinds are a little bit more coarse, again, almost like panko breadcrumbs, I'm going, and we're gonna be using egg here in a minute, I am going to start with a little bit of the, uh, at the bottom, all right? And I'll show you why in just a minute, all right? Next thing I'm gonna do is I've got my grate for my air fryer. Now, again, this, show, this is not called air frying in the wild or air frying in the wild. It's called smoke in the wild, but we're taking a break from the smoker tonight. My kids love this meal. My wife loves this meal. I love this meal because I, lied, I love fried crappie. I love fried shrimp. I love onion rings. But I can't have that normally so I found a solution that allows me to enjoy it just as much. And to be honest with you, I'd almost put this up against oil fried crappie, shrimp, and onion rings. It's just that good. We're gonna be talking about a literally low to no carb meal. I mean, how can you go wrong? So what we're gonna do, we've got, let's first of all, before we get started, we're gonna take some eggs and I'm gonna scramble them up, all right? I'm gonna take, I'm gonna start off with six eggs, five eggs rather. We might have to add some more just depending on what goes on here. Don't put the shell in there unless you want an extra crunch. All right, get that going in there. All righty, here we go. And just scramble these up. But we've got a little bit of a twist. Once you get those scrambled up, mixed up, I'm gonna use sugar-free barbecue sauce. You can use whatever sauce you want but I'm gonna take some sugar-free barbecue sauce. It's fantastic, by the way. Never thought in a million years I would say that sugar-free barbecue sauce and sugar-free ketchup is good. But I can tell you this, in just a few short weeks, I've lost over 16 pounds 
at over almost eight total inches off my midsection. So I'm loving this. I'm sticking with it and I'm eating just as good, if not better. So anyway, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take some barbecue sauce. Oh, that's probably about, a, that's probably about a half a tablespoon, maybe. Okay, I mean, about a tablespoon and a half rather. And I'm gonna mix that in there. And if I don't like the way the color looks, I want more barbecue sauce. I'm gonna add a little bit more. And I think I am gonna add just a little bit more. So we're gonna turn, we're gonna, it's gonna turn out to be about two tablespoons of barbecue sauce in this egg mixture, okay? Get that all mixed up. All right, and then we're gonna move on to the next step. All right, as you can see here, I've already laid out the crappie fillets as well as the shrimp. It's just gonna be my wife and I and our youngest daughter at home tonight. The other two are out chasing boys probably. But anyway, we're gonna start with these to begin with. I am gonna take some granulated garlic and I'm just gonna lightly coat the fillets these crappie fillets, as well as the defrosted shrimp. I'm using frozen shrimp tonight because I didn't have any fresh. On the crappie fillets, I'm gonna be using this Fin and Feather by Plowboys. Get that lightly seasoned on one side. All right, however you like it, however heavy, however light, you'll see why in just a minute. I would recommend on the little on the heavy side, but that's the way I like it. Then what I'm gonna do, I've taken, I've already gar garlic the uh, shrimp. I'm gonna take some Bearded Butcher Hollywood Blend and I'm gonna hit that shrimp on that side, all right? Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna flip over the crappie fillets, the shrimp, we're gonna do the other side and then move on to the next step. As you can see, I've already got the crappie fillets and the shrimp seasoned up. Remember, we added some barbecue sauce to the egg mixture. I've got just a, uh, just a little bit on the bottom of the uh, pulverized pork rinds. Now I have my rack that goes in my air fryer. I've got a cutting board underneath to catch some of the crumbs because they will fall through. And now we're ready to start breading. So I'm gonna start with the crappie fillets, just quickly run it through the egg. By the way, I looked it up. One egg has 0.6 net carb, net grams of carbs. So we're literally talking about as almost zero carb crappie filet. That's unbelievable. We're going to put it in the pan and just keep going. All right. It doesn't take much. Just like frying crappie in oil, we're doing the exact same process minus the oil. And I'm going to tell you something. You are going to be blown away at how great this crappie tastes and the shrimp. So just grab those by the tail, put it in the same mixture, toss it around. Is that a word, DOS? I meant to say toss. All right, there we go. But I like DOS. And look at there. All right, I've got the crappie and the scrimps done and breaded with the pork rinds. I've taken my sea salt shaker. I've spread some sea salt on top for final seasoning. And you know what's great? As I said, every egg that I used, and I haven't used all of it yet because I'm saving the rest for the onion rings, has less than 0.6 grams of fat per egg. There is zero carbs in pork rinds. And I'm not sure, but I'm almost positive that fish and scrimps don't have any carbs. If they do, very, very little. So this is a guilt-free meal and it's gonna be phenomenal. You know why? Because I've made it before. You're talking to a guy that I'm 52 years old now and I've spent at least 50 years of my life eating fried fish, fried okra, fried taters, fried this, fried this. I would have never dreamed in a million years that I would be cooking like this, but you know, by eating this way, you'll notice that I'm not missing out on anything. I've lost over 16 pounds in just a few weeks. This, this absolutely is the way to go. So because I only have one rack for my air, my air fryer, I'm going to go ahead and put this on at about 420 degrees for about 14 to 15 minutes. Then it's going to be done. I'm going to pull that off. In the meantime, I'm gonna prepare the onion rings. I'll stick the onion rings back on this rack. I'll put the fish and the scrimps in the oven, set it on warm at about 170 degrees, and we're gonna be ready to serve to my wife, myself, and our youngest daughter, and it's gonna be fantastic. So let's take it over to the air fryer right now. All right, let's get this slid in here. We're gonna turn this rascal on. It's set to air fry. It's at 420 degrees. I'm gonna set the time for 13, let's just call it, yeah, 13 minutes. 
push start, I get to walk away. Now I'm gonna go work on the onion rings. All right, you can already see, I've got these onions, onion rings already cut. There's about two good size onions there. I've got the same mixture with the barbecue sauce in there. And all I'm simply gonna do is get these onion rings really good and dredged to that egg mixture, put it in there with the pork rinds, stir it around. Now, it's obviously not going to be as coated as you know normal deep fried onion rings, but let me tell you something, you're not gonna notice the flavor difference. And again, zero to no carbs, guilt-free, amazing taste. And we're just gonna keep doing this. We're about uh, 10 minutes away from the fish and scrimps being done. As soon as they're done, I'm gonna pull those off, put them in the warmer in the oven, put these onion rings back in the air fryer, probably for about eight to nine minutes, and we'll be ready to serve. Another little side note, when you get done and you've made as much onion rings as you want, when you have your leftover pork rinds that's got it from, you know, been mixed up with the egg mixture, because pork rinds have no carbs in it, you, you're welcome to just go ahead and sprinkle it on here. I'm gonna take a spatula, transfer this to my air fry rack, and I'm gonna go ahead and air fry <clears throat> the leftover pork rinds because it's good to eat, no carbs, it's fantastic. All right, all right, all right. 13 minutes and we are done. I'm gonna bring you in for a close-up so you can see this, but let me tell you something. These are absolutely phenomenal. These crappie fillets and these fry, air fried scrimps. Let's take a look at that. I'm telling you what, I don't know if you can hear, I can hear it, but the crunch, it's almost the same as if you were uh, deep frying it in oil. The, the fish you're gonna see when we taste it, it's very flaky. The, the shrimp is absolutely perfectly cooked. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my spatula, I'm gonna pull all this off, I'm gonna put it over here on the pan, put it in the oven, which is on warm right now, then we're gonna air fry the onion rings and we'll be ready to go. We are completely done. The scrimps are done, the fish is done, the crappie, and the onion rings. Now, there's only one last thing for me to do. I love the taste of lime. I don't care on my shrimp, I don't care if it's fried air fried, deep fried, sauteed, uh, stir fried, whatever. I love lime, so I'm gonna squeeze a little bit of lime on my shrimp, all right? I'm gonna take some Louisiana hot sauce and I'm gonna just top my crappie fillets, all right? And then I'm gonna take some sugar-free ketchup because I like ketchup on my onion rings. But before I do that, I wanna bring you in here and I want you to take a look at what this looks like. By the way, I'm also going to be eating just a side salad that I prepared as we're waiting. I want you to take, it have, take a look at how good this meal looks. Take a look at how pretty that is. Now these onion rings are not going to be exactly like deep fried onion rings, the way they look, but as far as the way they taste, they taste identical. You've got the crappie fillets, the shrimp done here, we've got the side salad low to no carbs, great protein, great, great roughage, some, some, some vegetables here. This is a phenomenal, phenomenal meal, all done on the air fryer in less than 30 minutes from start to finish. Now there's only one last thing to do. That is, I'm gonna add just a little bit of ketchup to my onion rings, sugar-free. Now I'm gonna dive into this shrimp first. I can't wait. I'm gonna hold that thought. I've got this hot sauce crop. <clears throat> wow, that's so good. Let's get that crappie going on there. That right there is like taking a Bagara rifle at a thousand yards and drilling a bullseye. Nothing better than this right here. Then we can't forget the onion ring. I'm gonna <laughs> wow. I <laughs> I may add some little bit more there. That was, oh. I am the very, I don't think I need to try the salad, do I? You know what that tastes like. But I am the very last person on the planet that would have ever thought in a million years that I would own an air fryer, much less cook on one. But now that I have one, meals like this, I can eat this meal with a, a clean conscience. Literally, this is clean eating. There's little to no carbs involved here. And to be honest with you, I don't think I'll ever go back to deep frying food again. Now that I know the weight loss I've experienced, the loss of inches, how great it tastes, how easy it is, how easy and clean it is. It's easy to clean up. My kitchen doesn't smell. 
It's a win, 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 win deal. And I promise you, if you try to make this yourself on your air fryer, you won't look back. It's just that good. As always, I appreciate you watching. If you haven't had a chance, smash that subscribe button. I would appreciate you subscribing to our channel. No matter what, just get cooking. And if you want to learn how to do more meals like this, stay tuned because we've got them coming. It's going to be a great season with hunting season coming up. I thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.